Hello friends, welcome to Data Conditions. So in continuation with the initial tutorial series, so we are now at a scan component. Today we are going to understand what scan do, why we need scan, how we configure your scan component and what we should and uh, what type of different use cases we could solve using scan component. Um, the basic uh, functionality of the scan is uh, it uh, produces the uh, familiarity of summary output, group of uh, reports, familiarity. So, if we compare with rollup, so mostly both uh, are same with respect to producing produce the you know, aggregated sum, summary report. But Mm -hmm. The difference is scan produces uh, um, you know, each and every uh, report will uh, produce an output, but uh, uh, roll up will you know, produce only one report for each group. So, in that sense, uh, this is diff different. And scan also runs. Uh, Two different modes, template mode and extended mode. Template mode typically is uh, using the uh, uh, edition functions which are available. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, in extended mode, that allows a uh, programmer to define uh, multi multi stage transform functions are available in uh, extended mode. The user could uh, you know declare uh, types and uh, define. Uh, you know, sequence of uh, functions to manipulate the you know the record within a group. So, so there will be one record uh, for each group in the rollup, but wherein scan uh, produces a three record, but it also produces the summary record at every stage. So, in in sense, uh, if you are, uh, for example, if we are uh, summing summing up the salary, you know, in a scan, cumulative sum, you want to achieve, then uh, you know, the aggregated or uh, absolute sum for within a group will be equal to the final record of the group. But uh, the cumulative sum, the remaining sum will be. Uh, Will be available for each and every report. Okay. Uh, so, the runtime behavior of scan component we are going to cover as part of another video. Today, we are going to understand how scan components need to be configured in a initial environment so that uh, we can you know, solve our uh, use cases. We are uh, so there are you know different parameters uh, available to understand from them. So those we need to uh, configure. First parameter is key. So as I said, it's, uh, you know uh, produce the community summary for a particular group. Then group based on what? So then you know key uh, parameter comes. So uh, similarly. Uh, there are two ways to define the key. Key specifier, the exit key value, and uh, second is key method function. Okay. Key method or what we call it the key change function. Key method is key change. The key change. So key change functions behavior is similar to the hmm. uh, roll-up that we understood already. So whenever the uh, key change uh, method returns true, then uh, it should be understood by the stem component is. Yeah, the group has been changed and uh, do whatever is needed. Okay, and uh, okay, and uh, this space where is uh, it's, it's, uh, one of the field of uh, input data set that 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 is uh, uh, as a key space where. So similarly, uh, we have taken the um, department uh, employment. Uh, Employment department scenario, right? So within a department, if we have to see the salary of a particular employee, some of the salary, 
So like where is the previous specified department as well? That's a key. So uh, the next one, uh, the next one parameter is, uh, you know, uh, the next next one is sorted input. So whether we are giving the uh, input as a sorted or not, so it could be all sorted. So if we are giving a sorted input as star, then there is a next score parameter will be active. Okay. So next score, the functionality of the next score is similar. And uh, by default, uh, next score will be consistent here yeah, as well. So, so whenever we are not giving a, a sorted uh, data, as an input to the scan component. So scan has to uh, sort uh, the data uh, internally and also it has to, you know, hold the intermediate file uh, with um, you know, different uh, groups uh, whenever it processes the unsorted data. So for that, uh, there is a special allocation of memory by the issue, uh, which is called a scan. So this is uh, not a fixed value, but by default it comes as 64 FP. So depending upon the use case, depending upon the futuristic you know, uh, volume growth, we decide and we could parameterize this uh, next call value uh, to the, the graph level or, or probably to the uh, project level. And uh, we could modify this value as well, okay, and depending upon the circumstances. So this is that and uh, um, Okay, then now um, there are uh, error group function and uh, low group functions. So those, there are, those are similar actually uh, for the different uh, other multi-stage transform components. So if we want to uh, analyze the group, uh, you know, uh, low, low group for this scan, uh, then we could, uh, we could assign the one of the low, low group or error group and then this low group and error group respectively could be passed to the error uh, and uh, log handle and the error handle component. And that, uh, you know, the, the log will be read and uh, analyzed later, okay. And uh, then there is a reject threshold. Similarly, the reject threshold parameter is also available. This is also similar. So um, uh, the by default value is about uh, the first reject. So whenever first rejection happens, the cross is going to be aborted, the component is going to be tele, okay. Everywhere specifying never abort. So depending upon the use case, we have to specify never abort. And we just comment it and uh, uh, to indicate that this uh, component is going to be never abort. So the reports, uh, rejected report is, we are probably can be captured, rejected, reject file, okay. And uh, can be analyzed uh, later on in uh, graph or later on in uh, the process. Okay. So this is that, and uh, there is there is the uh, another uh, different parameters are uh, you know maintain order. So whenever uh, it's only available, uh, there is a parameter called maintain order. Okay. This is available then uh, you know, sorted parameter is set to false. So when maintain order is set to true, that the component stops the graph when the input is too large to be the memory specified by next store, ensuring that it goes up on pre-order. Okay. So that means the maintain maintain order is set to true. So that is because the hypothetical situation because we are not supplied a uh, you know, sorted record, and uh, the expectation is you know to sort the record uh, after processing. This is not going to happen when, particularly when you know the max score is small and uh, and uh, this scan component is you know max score is too small that it cannot hold all the records. And, you know, uh, input record is too large to fit within the memory of, uh, of max score. So. If we, once the data is split to the disk, so it, it's very, you know, random to, you know, there will be a random input of the patient among, between uh, 
the very issue component and the, this strength component. And the, this. So it's you know, not necessarily the uh, sorted. So this is so the, in that case, the uh, graph is going to stop. So that we need to take care when we want to the scan component. When the this if my internet is fast, the component stores some of the intermediate results in temporary results and this will work. But certainly it's the you know, the record alteration is not there. But in general, if we are specifying content or solid, then the graph is not going to store. If we are supplying the um, sorted data, then maintain out of this tool is okay. Um, that, that is absolutely a necessary, obvious uh, to have an assorted or uh, the order of the data as it comes in the input data sets. In that case, maintain out of the proof will be okay. That's so we want to have And uh, there is in grouped input, so this is uh, another Boolean term. This is called group input. If you are testing true or false, uh, not false. So similarly, uh, what you know, the way we have discussed in uh, rollup. So if we have a multi-part key, uh, let's say department ID or region ID and department ID, or the or records are uh, sorted based on region ID and uh, not on department ID within that uh, region. So we could uh, supply that we are our measure key is you know for measure key is region ID and minor key is you know, department ID. Though we do not have sorted data based on the multi-part two, two, two part key, but we have sorted on region. So if if the you know group we, we can specify what the things group input as a you know true. And we can specify measure key as a region ID. And uh, uh, so then scan only has to take care of the minor key, you know, reordering and sorting. Therefore, it's a, you know, it's a support for the performance in you know, scan component in that sense. And there is a check sort component here also. So if, if the sorted input uh, parameter is true and we are supplying the uh, you know, sorted input, then you know, graph is also okay. Uh, check sort. The check sort component is uh, signifies when uh, you know, uh, in sorted input and uh, with the key, uh, you know, uh, the key method is key space pair. Key method would be key space pair. So, and then there is a logging. So, if we are logging through and log input and log output. These are also other different terms. So, what is log input? Is if we specify some number with a log input. So, if we are specifying 100, then 100 record is you know, input record is going into the log board. And if we are specifying log output, then 100 output record is going to be received in log. If we are specifying log reject at 100, then you know, hundred record of uh, rejected record is going to be here in the output. So these uh, you know these parameters uh, for diagnosis to see you know uh, to see the do and to monitor the you know long running uh, jobs and you know multi you know heavy volume of data. So this is all about uh, uh, you know, the different parameters in scan component and distribution.